Now we're working the latest developments on the tragic school shooting in Connecticut. Today, former Arizona Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords visited Newtown to meet with the families of the victims. She was shot by a gunman in a mass shooting that killed six people two years ago. After the shooting at Sandy Hook, her husband, astronaut Mark Kelly, called for tighter gun control. It's a measure Providence's city council supports as well. And last night, its members voted to ask the General Assembly to ban all semi-automatic weapons statewide. Providence's Public Safety Commissioner is also in favor of this renewed push, but says the city's real challenge is, and always has been, guns have been obtained illegally. Target 12 investigator Tim White is in the newsroom now with more. A guest on this week's Newsmakers, Providence Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Perry says it's been a challenge trying to get the General Assembly to pass tougher gun laws. He says this year could be different. By an 8 to 6 vote, the Providence City Council this week approved a resolution asking state lawmakers to ban the sale of semi automatic weapons. We have way too many guns in the streets of Providence. It was Providence Public Safety here. Commissioner Stephen Perry says while he City. supports any crackdown on assault weapons, it's the illegal guns that pose the biggest threat. Where are they coming from? They're coming from house breaks, they're coming from straw bowers, where somebody legally purchases uh, a variety of guns out of state, and then they peddle those guns in the Northeast. Perry says the city saw 105 shootings last year. He wants to see Providence go the route of New York City. Regardless of who you are, if you carry a gun, never mind you have to use it, if you carry a gun in New York City, you're going to look at some stiff sanctions. Perry says in the past, they've been unsuccessful in getting changes like that past the General Assembly. We have renewed attention to a problem in America, and unfortunately it took 20 young kids and six adults not far from the state of Rhode Island to be tragically gunned down. I spoke with the president of the Rhode Island Police Chiefs Association, Cumberland Chief John Desmaris. He says they will once again try and get a lawmaker to sponsor tougher gun laws, especially in how the state issues gun permits. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. And you can see our entire interview with Commissioner Perry on Newsmakers this weekend, Sunday at 5.30, right here on WPRI 12 and at 10 a.m. over on Fox Providence.